Pet first aid is really important for owners to have a basic understanding in because it does help reduce suffering and increase the chance of a successful outcome before a pet gets to a veterinarian. So a big part of pet first aid is learning about prevention. We don't want injuries to happen to animals. We want people to understand how they can keep their animal safe and, and keep those injuries from happening. So a big part of taking a pet first aid class is learning about how to keep your pet safe. Of course, people also think about how to handle injuries as well, and that's really critical, but at the end of the day, we prefer that these accidents just don't happen. One of the injuries that we can run into with pets is bite wounds to the ear. Sometimes if dogs get into a scuffle of some kind, they'll go for each other's neck and then the ear accidentally gets in the way. Um, it's really important if you do go to help your pet that you do consider your own safety because if they are feeling scared or threatened, when you go to touch an injured part, they could lash out and bite you. Uh, so please consider your own safety. Two items that we think you should have in your pet first aid kit uh, are gauze pads and gauze rolls. So I'm just going to take out a piece of, of gauze pad here. So if Taku had been bitten in the ear, what I would want to do is quickly take that gauze pad and apply pressure to wherever the wound was with my fingers. Now, blood uh, tends to flow towards the ground. We want to reduce the blood flow. So we're going to flip the ear up onto the top of the animal's head, keep that pressure applied there. And we're going to take a roll of gauze and start rolling around the animal's head here, going in front of the good ear, back under the chin. Now we're going to go behind the good ear, under the chin, in front of the good ear. So you see the good ear is actually acting as an anchor. So if he tries to get this bandage off, it's going to be difficult for him to get it off. Now I'm wrapping around his neck a little bit, so I don't want to be wrapping too tight, but I don't want it to be so loose that this bandage will come off either. And it's really important to remember this is just an introductory measure when we're en route to the veterinary clinic. We're not going to leave this bandage on long term. It's really possible when you're not used to doing bandaging to put a bandage on uh, too loose or too tight. Now when I get to the end, um, for now I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this in, but what you would do is use some medical tape and tape that real good here. And then just double check that it's not too tight around his neck, and now he's ready for transport to the vet.